Boba Fett be like? What's your name? Name's Boba Fett. Name's Archer. Can I help you with anything? How much for this cat? This is brutal. This is brutal. Huh. Sounds like glass, that was actually ice. Let's see how it is in the truck. Great. Left the window down too. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, this is rough. Wasn't too bad uh, at first, and then once I started driving, I had to keep my hand on the steering wheel. I was like, all right, I guess I see the value in car starters and people warming their cars up first and stuff. Um, but I did see somewhere, you know, again, everybody always sees something somewhere that um, warming up your car is not actually good for your. <laughs> Damn, I can't even see. That was a lot of sun glare. Um, that warming up your car is actually not good for your car. But, you know. Like I said, you always see something somewhere. All right, so um, we are here at Walmart, beginning of the hunt week for myself. I feel like I was covering the camera there. Um, thank you all for the good feedback and the congratulations and all that fun stuff from the, getting the trolls the other day. Um, it feels good. It feels good to like have that off my chest. I'm gonna be doing more photography as well now that I don't have to hunt so many times in a week. More photography and more content. I just have more content time now, really. So make sure you follow Nerd Affiliated. That's the main YouTube channel. But all the photography, like actual photos, will be on either my website, heyarcher.com, or, and or, I should say, they'll be at Book of Archer on uh, Instagram. So looking forward to all of that fun stuff. So the toying thing now is pretty much gonna be for the sake of wanting to just see what's out there and collect things I wanna collect. Message! Um, it's funny, Tim messaged me and asked if I needed another foot soldier pack because his Walmart got a bunch. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. But then I was also like, eh, if, I, if I see them, maybe I would get another one. Um, to do a little small army build. But otherwise, I think the only thing that we're really gonna be looking for in these hunts are um, always Black Series. We still haven't found Boba Fett from Book of Boba. We still haven't found Archive Troopers, um, 501st or whatever. Actually, no, that wasn't 501st, was it? Yeah, yeah, 501st Troopers. Um, and we still have not found another Casey Jones for Steve. So those are really like the things that I'm out there looking for. At Target, I do want to see the Channel 6 pack. I saw that um, uh, my boy Billy found the the box at Target this week, and I'm not sure I want to spend the money on it, but I kind of do want to see it. Maybe I will pick it up, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't go full in on the animated stuff. I have the Turtles in the Skies, I have the pinball box, and I think I would want that six, the Channel 6 pack just for the sake of like, collecting packs. I did sell off the frogs and stuff, so I'm, I don't know. But, I mean, hey, they announced, finally, officially, they're making a Kino figure. So, best believe, once that drops, we'll be looking for that. I, If I had to guess, since they, they already released the three modeling of it, I'd say Kino comes out, like, summer. If I had to guess. But, yeah. All right, let's head inside. Those two packs are gone from there.
so loud in here. There's no way I can like properly commentate, but we'll keep on trying. All right, toy section here. And looks like all same stuff. God, Lando's gotta get out of here. so loud in there um but the one thing that was different was splinter and shredder were gone um a lot of the yeah a lot of random NECA stuff was gone so that shows you things can come in in a matter of days all gone just just gone so what i might do is cut my losses <clears throat> and make the long drive um, to that other Walmart because that one the toy hunters seem to not really hit as hard so I'll probably just skip my other sec my like second one go straight for that and stop at Target on the way all right in the toy section movies was oh that's a good Rhinox I think I remember Tigertron too. Vaguely. Oh yeah, Black Arachnia. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, watch that episode of uh, Here to Live with Know Your Craft. Talk a lot about Beast Wars. His name? What's this? Marvel Legends Classic on sale. It's not that though. In wrestling. Ooh. I think I want this for myself. Yeah, it's not the chase, I don't think. I forget what the chase was for this line. Might have been the Brick Baker, actually. Uh, I kind of want that for myself. You know, I look at this Vader all the time. No. It's a new Boba Fett. Moving down, we have our two packs still. Not the ones we're looking for. It's just the Bebop I want. But they have another single release Bebop coming out. So I'll wait for that. And that is it. Yeah, if I find a picture, I forgot what the um, company was that makes it. But there's a single like Bebop that's coming out. Probably Rock Steady as well. Um, I kind of want that because it has the interchangeable faces from when they were humans to when they got mutated. So um, I'd rather get that than that two-pack because those turtles in that two-pack are terrible. So, all right, let's attempt the long drive. All right, so we're stopping at our favorite target on the way to the long, far, far away Walmart. And um, it's looking pretty crowded in the parking lot. It's 916 at the moment. So if I don't talk through it, that's why. But uh, let's go inside and see if they got any of those uh, Marvel figures and any new NECA Terminator stuff. Every so often there's a new surprise Terminator. So let's see what we got. Sugar. 
Legends are still full price. There's definitely another um, YouTuber around because I laid out <laughs> all the pictures there. No. Hmm. Curious. Set scale. It's pretty close. One of the things I want to do this year is some more customs, more um, not just figure customs, but dioramas and little things of that nature. And um, there were two things I thought of uh, over the last year. Actually, sorry. One I thought of, a lot of sunlight there. Change this way. One thing I thought of last year and one thing I thought of actually this, this past week. So last year I was wondering, um, I kind of want to make a adult version of, uh, what is, what's the girl's name? From uh, Omega, from Bad Batch. Because I have extra, um, Mandalorian bodies. I have an extra Costco Reeves. I have an extra um, whatever the other chick's name is. I, I forget the moment. But um, I have extras of those. So I was thinking about like what figures I could like mix and match with those, um, and what I could potentially. And this is a stretch. Kit kit bash off of like other Mandalorian figures I have, or other Bad Batch figures I have. So. Um, seeing that head from the Jurassic Park girl, I was like, this one looks like it might work. The other one I kind of thought of, I know some people did, um, if I can find a picture, I'll post it here. I know some people or one person took a Scarlett Johansson Black Widow head and made an Omega. Um, actually that might've been Wenzilla and I think about it, but, um, I was thinking of, uh, Sylvie. I think Sylvie might might do well for that as well. Um, so something I've been I've, I was swinging around with last year, and now I'm like kind of like really starting to to think about it. Now that things are going to be going on clearance, uh, hopefully soon. Um, the other thing I thought of this weekend was Peacemaker first three episodes amazing. I am still hesitant on it because first three episodes of Titans were great, and then it went to garbage. So. I'm gonna hold my reservations, but uh, so far, first three episodes of Peacemaker are great. And I was thinking of if there's a clearance John Cena wrestler figure, and I come across a clearance John Cena Peacemaker figure, I'm buying the two of them, but maybe I can get the Peacemaker with the helmet and then use the head sculpt of the wrestling figure to like swap back and forth. Um, just an idea that I had because I think I think the wrestling figures had better head sculpts of John Cena than the Peacemaker figure the maskless one if I remember I didn't really stare that hard because at the time I was not really looking for Peacemaker so toying around with that idea as well the um if the show does well the maskless one might be hard to find so who knows but I I do know one target where he's been so when I do feel like pulling the trigger on that I'll go find him over there so Go to oh, sale. Um, do we do it? Sixteen. We will wait for now. <clears throat> and match at sixteen. Wiped out. Nothing. Check this out. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. What's up, nerds? Editor's note on this late Friday evening as I edit this video. Yesterday, as you're watching this. Um, I'm missing some footage. Maybe I ran out of storage. Maybe I forgot to record. I'm not sure. But I'm going to reference... A couple things in this reveal that I thought you guys saw footage to 
and I don't think the footage made it in. Uh, I'm 99% uh, sure it's not here, unless I just somehow missed it in my editing. So um, I'll reference some things that happened off camera. I apologize. Also, I went to go get a box, bring the box upstairs. I was going to try to do some whole like cool segment with it. Forgot to record it, but I talked about the box as though you saw me go collect the box. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to see some reveals from a Hasbro Pulse box. Um, and then some other random things that are going to come out of nowhere. But trust me, you're going to like it. Pretty sure. If not, tell me in the comments. I think you'll like it. Continuing. Let's do uh, some top-down shots of a review. Reveal. Reveal, review. Something of the two. All right. <laughs> All right. So without even looking in advance, I'm just pulling boxes without checking. First one up, we have Bill Burr in the house. Very excited to get this figure. He popped up real quick on um, the Hasbro site, and I was like, there's no way I'm skipping this. So finally got our hands on Bill Burr. I actually ordered, um, and I regret ordering him so late in the game because he went up in price, but I ordered the Han Solo from the Solo movie because it matches the same uniform. Um, so big miss on my part ordering it so late because he went up like $10 since I originally saw it. So it's going to have that Han Solo to go along with Bill Burr. Next up, without looking. All right. <laughs> Dr. Evan Zan, um, I just had to do it. I saw him, I, you know what? I want to get that free shipping. So I saw him on the Hasbro site, <laughs> picked him up as well. Just, just had to do it. There's no way I was gonna skip him. All right, pulling out of the box without looking. I'll save the bigger box for the end because I know what that is. Yep. Honda, Baba, there's no way you do one without the other. Impossible. So excited to have those two in my uh, Star Wars worlds that we'll be building out of the box. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, do, do we take him out of box? Oh, God, this is so nice. Oh, this is so nice. We have our own, the, the new maker himself. Of course, Trapper Wolf is name on show, but really, we have Dave Filoni. Oh, this is a good figure. That's a really good head sculpt, actually. And I got to tell you, what I like about this right away is I don't have to rip any packaging. Like, everything, I you know, I'd have to cut these out, or maybe I don't. Maybe I just open up the back here and then um, take the pieces out. But I can keep the box intact uh, very nicely. So, super excited for this one. Um, I don't know if I'm taking him out of the box or not. That's a that's a mystery. That's a mystery in itself. Also in the mail this week, we got ourselves another Stormtrooper. I actually am in the middle of an army build on these. So, this one here uh, is probably my third or fourth regular uh, Mandalorian Imperial Trooper. Um, on the floor, I have an incinerator trooper as well that came. So you saw in the car, we got ourselves a Batgirl. I'm feeling a repaint right away. I think out of the gate, I'm gonna add this to my uh, customization pile, but I'm feeling right away, I'm gonna give her a repaint. Maybe I'm gonna try to make that purple look like um, in the new movie. So um, yeah, that will be up for consideration right, right out of the gate. So we got ourselves a G.I. Joe micro action figure. And yeah, I think this will be good for some photography with some of the other figures. Oh, I actually forgot about this one. Another micro figure I got. Raphael. I just thought it'd be funny. I have Raphael holding a toy of Raphael. A Funko Pop R2-D2. So these are labeled as pocket pops. They're keychains. But I'm thinking about just taking the keychain part off. And uh, yeah, they'll go into some different shots. The other one we got out of that line, because I mean, definitely the turtles would be Star Wars fans. There's no way. We also got ourselves the 
these classic console packs. So again, I've seen none of this stuff before. So this is all new to me, um, except for the photography I saw with Toy Chess Quest. So let's open this one up. Let's see, I have a Game Boy. All right. This is actually much bigger than I thought. I mean, I knew it was a keychain, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. I'm not sure this is gonna work with the six inch figures. Darn, this would be good with the quarter inch figures. But who knows? We'll try it out and we'll see. Is this actual? No, it doesn't actually work. The buttons move. Interesting. All right, let's open up the other one. <laughs> we got another Game Boy. <laughs> well, now we have two Game Boys. So we can always do a photo where people are playing each other, I guess, with these. All right. These are cool. Again, a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they'd be good with the six inch figures, but there's no way. So we'll figure out something to do with them. All right. We have some mini brands. And again, I saw them in pictures, had no idea what they were, but actually each of these have miniature brand things. Like, like we'll just open it. It's easier if I just open it. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh. that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. A uh, Ninja Turtle action figure. That's wonderful. That is perfect. That's the irony in that. Okay. All right. You see what I mean now with these mini brands? Like they're just miniatures of things that you probably buy or don't buy or. Oh, these are like, so these are all toys. This one is a Build-A-Bear workshop. We have a we have toy brand mini bags like brown paper bags all right get the heck out of here get the heck out <laughs> this is hilarious this is actually quite entertaining we have hey arnold um in case you ever wondered hey archer is a playoff of hey arnold um that's funny that is funny all right a mini Rubik's cube. All right, let's open up this last one. Um, I mean, I don't know how to tell like if one is like food, one is like toys. Like, I don't know how one identifies these. I guess you just don't know. So whatever the first one I opened was, I guess that line is toys. And then this line would be food. So this one is warheads. All right. Lunch <laughs> Lunchables. Cool. Dum Dums. I've never heard of Dum Dums. I don't know what they are. Halogen Creamer. Dose and Co. I have no idea what that is. This will be repaint easily. I'm going to paint that to something else. I don't even know what that is. Sweethearts. All right. So the first one, whatever that was labeled, definitely has the more fun things. But, um,. I love <laughs> it's just, this is cool. I can see where kids uh, have a lot of fun doing this because you, you just don't know what you're going to get. But I mean, these two alone, the Hey Arnold and the Leonardo, I mean, I'd say this is a win. I'd say this is a win. Yeah, so that's going to be a wrap for this vlog um toy hunt episode episode two um there's a lot more i wanted to record um i'm still working on that like that's a lot to to redo um 
So once I do that and reorganize my desk, then I'll do a proper kind of like walkthrough of everything. Um, and then even just so you can see, I have all these figures out. So I'm trying to um, do a video with those. Want to customize Batgirl. I got a podcast to edit from uh, Anthony and Sal. They didn't know the rambling. Um, so make sure you follow Nerd Affiliated, by the way. Um, so there's a lot to do. So I'm going to end this week's vlog here. That was fun. Maybe we'll try to get some more of these micro things in the future. Um, I don't want to go crazy on them now. I think I want to um, do some customization, do some uh, building of diorama type stuff first. And then as we world build, then we'll get some more of these kinds of things. So, but it's a good start. I just wish, I wish I knew these things were so big. I thought they were a lot smaller, but it is what it is. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace.